Hello, this video we're going to cover identifying issues with printer bed movement on the X and Y axis. And also, uh, if you have some issues with the probe switches, we'll cover some of that and there will be a link in the video description for a full video on testing the probe switches. So, uh, when the printer is turned off, you should be able to move the printer bed very easily by hand, like so, even a single finger in my pinky finger can move the print bed pretty comfortably in the X and Y axis direction. So we're going to go ahead and turn the printer on and we're connected here in the interface. It'll auto reconnect in just a moment and we're going to push home all. So as you can see the bed is moving to the left and backwards towards the base of the machine and it should stop moving and you should get a blue light on home X, Y, and Z in the printer interface. And that means we have good movement and all the probe switches are working. So, we're gonna go ahead and unplug the Y switch, turn the printer back on, and now we're going to home all. And this is going to make a very angry buzzing noise. It's gonna, you'll see when we push home Y right now, home all right now, And we're going to go ahead and turn the machine off when we hear that noise. That's the motor basically torquing itself out on our micro printer. On our pro printers and up, the motor automatically shuts itself off when it reaches the end of the rail and continues to try going. Or if there was a physical blockage, if I stopped it and tried to stop it from moving, the motor would shut itself off. But on our micro printer, it will just make that angry buzzing noise. And we're going to go ahead and replug the micro switch back in and turn the printer back on. So as I said, there'll be a full video in the description, a link to the full video testing the probe switches. But as you can see, when I move the Y over, we get an extra orange light. And then when we push it out, and that's a good way to test your probe switches if they're working correctly. So now we're going to try and simulate a blockage. So we're going to go ahead, move the printer bed to, this, to the middle again. And we're going to push home all, but this time I'm, we're going to go ahead and physically block the printer from moving. And again, when it's in this state, you should try and relatively quickly turn the printer off. So as you can see, we're going to turn it off. And so that noise on our micro printer strongly indicates there's a blockage somewhere. So you should try and turn it off quickly. Uh, things that could be causing such a blockage, uh, the belt guard could be one. So you, you want to move the print bed all the way to one side and then remove the belt guard and see if it is now easier to move the print bed back and forth, if it is easier probably some debris or something on the belt guard that's stopping it from moving. Same thing for the Y belt guard. I'm going to go ahead and remove it and see if there's anything hindering the movement. Uh, check for debris in the rail area. If there's clay on the rail, if it's very dirty, it may, may need to be cleaned. There could be debris on the side of the rail, such as clay debris or dust. That needs to be wiped off with a rag and alcohol and then re-oiled with some uh, multi-purpose oil or three-in-one oil, just a very small amount to re-lubricate the rails. If it is binding up and locking, you know, if you are not able to move it, try and identify why it is locked up. It, you know, it could be even another issue that I've not mentioned. Maybe there's a water bottle sitting in the way or some external factor. Uh, and the last thing, would be interference with the Y car coming in contact with the leg of the machine right here. So it would be hitting right here, there would be contact and it would just hit there and crash before it gets to the probe switch here. So this plate contact there needs to come in contact with the probe switch like this to tell it to stop but it may jam there. And that's usually from shipping damage. So if there's 
uh, damage to the package. This could have caused or damaged or bent this assembly to come in contact here. And there's gonna be a link in the video description showing how to repair that interference as well. So that covers all the issues that are normally with our printers that affect the X and Y rail system.